Pi class session one of the week. So this is our week two. Uh, so it's actually our session three, uh, but the first of the week. So uh, this week we have four total sessions. Um, so this is where we challenge ourselves and see if we can keep up, right, and get all four done. Uh, last week was a, an assessment and then two sessions. So um, this will be your true challenge. Hopefully you've had a little recovery time and you uh, gave yourself some rest over the weekend before you started, but we're going to go ahead and get started with our warm-up. So remember, some things that we need to focus on is our breathing, right? Slowing it down, uh, getting the most out of each breath, uh, coordinating when necessary, and then the other thing is control. Controlling the pace of that breath, controlling the pace of our movement, and um, controlling our mind really um, paying attention, right? And being aware of what's going on um, and how our body feels. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do this. Let's get going with some warm up. So chest expansion. So remember we are practicing our scooping. So we're expanding and exhaling and then scooping and rounding and inhaling. Today is also the first day that we are going to go two times through the session. So first time through, we're going to go one exercise at a time and really slow it down. And then we'll go a little quicker through the second time. Okay, down for cat and cow. Exhale on the cow, inhale on the cat. Really round that back. the hips under, pelvis under, tighten the glutes. Feel the change in the position of the spine while we're warming up, while we're limbering up, right? All right, let's turn this into dynamic. Bring your hands forward, hips down, and we're going to move back. warming those hips up, feeling the arms, one more, good, all right, we're going to come down for our 100 exercise, so remember anytime we come down on our backs, we want to practice that scooping, so we're going to bring our knees with us, so round your back, Collapse, let it go, come down slowly, bring your knees in with you. And we're going to go ahead and extend from here. Chin to chest, shoulders up, scooping, right? Holding here and breathing. Five pumps on an inhale, five on an exhale. your hundred we're going to go into our leg circles on our backs so when you're ready go ahead and bring one leg up we're going to remember we're going to bend this knee open the hip and we're going to circle keeping the glutes the rear down connected to the mat the entire leg is moving 
We're just warming up top of that thigh there, the hip. We're going to reverse. Also should feel this in that lower back, all connected. And we're going to switch legs. Bend, open, circle. And some of you might be sore, right? Which is totally normal. Muscles maybe have been hibernating. <laughs> Reverse. Uh, you haven't felt these muscles, felt the soreness in a while. So that's a good thing, I think, right? And go ahead and bring that foot down. Yeah, so we want to be challenged. We want to be growing um, and improving every session that we meet. And so soreness is often, you know, the depiction of that. So it's just uh, the result of that. All right, we're going to go ahead and start our session. We're going to start with another variation of our single leg stretch. And this time, we're going to go ahead and bring both legs in today. Um, but one foot is, one leg is doing the work, okay? So I'm going to bring my leg out here, and I'm going to keep this leg in, and my head and shoulders are up. We're scooping, and I'm just letting this leg go. Pulling it in, letting it go. Breathing continuously. You should feel your abdominal wall nice and strong. Lower back pressing down into the mat. We're going to switch legs, holding onto this one, letting the other one go. And breathing. Inhale as deeply as you can. Transition into that exhale as far as you can take it. Chin is down to chest. Check on yourself, right? One more. And lift. Good. Okay, so double leg, another variation of this exercise as well. Uh, our arms, we're simply going to reach out to our sides, okay? That's it when we extend both legs. So go ahead and bring both knees in. Remember, we're just warming up this first time through, so we're going to do a limited number of reps. Go ahead and bring your head and shoulders up. Scooping, chin to chest, I'm going to let go of these legs and reach out to the side and come back in and out. I'm going to exhale as I let the legs go. One more. Good. Feet down and head down and arms down. We're going to practice those bridges again, right? Remember the bridge, same thing. We're lifting our hips. We're immediately engaging the glutes, hamstrings, quads, and pulling those abdominals in towards our spine so our back is stabilized, and then coming down. So we're going to exhale as we lift and engage. Here we go. Pausing at the top, and then letting go with an inhale. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And go ahead and rest. All right, so we have crisscross with single leg work. So go ahead and bring your knees in, hands behind the neck. And just like with the single leg, I'm going to allow my right leg to go and my left knee to stay in. I'm just going to come back to center each time I pull this leg back in. Remember that we're just rotating across the rib cage. My head stays elevated. My hips stay down and connected to the mat. Let's switch sides. Left leg out, come across to the right. 
Try to stay as centered as possible down the midline of your body as you're rotating. One more. And rest. So now we have our double straight, and we're going to modify this as well, another variation. Um, so instead of what we did, we did two different variations of double straight last week. This is a whole new one as well. So go ahead and bring both legs up, head and shoulders up, hands behind the neck. And we're going to go ahead and part the legs here. Bring the legs together, lower the legs, and lift. Part the legs, lower the legs, here at center. Now you can stay a little bit higher than what I'm doing. You don't have to go parallel to the floor. You can go right to here, that's fine. The breathing. One more. Good. All right. Bend your knees. <clears throat> We're going to do those roll up holds. We've already done this twice. So rolling up and holding. Remember, head comes up, chin to chest, shoulders come up, scooping. We quickly engage the glutes and then we're holding at the top. All right. So here we go, ready, lift, reach forward, hold, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down. And we'll go one more, and up, and down. All right, we're gonna roll to our side, push ourselves up, and come up to a seated position for our roll down holds. <clears throat> okay, so remember this, we're gonna go ahead and collapse our spine, and we're gonna lean back and reach up, and hold. So we're exhaling as we are leaning back. exercise here. So go ahead and straighten those legs. Keep those legs together. Um, this is called rowing. So we're simulating rowing in a boat. Okay. And the whole focus of the rowing exercise is to practice more scooping. Um, but it's also a lean back like our roll down holds that we just did. And so we are really focusing on strengthening our lower back and really utilizing our abdominal muscles. Okay. So you're only going to go as far back as you feel comfortable that you can get right back up and vertical, okay? So watch me. I'm going to demonstrate first. I'm going to interlock my hands out in front. My arms are straight and my legs are straight here. I'm going to collapse my spine, so I'm letting it go. And as I lean back, I'm going to pull my hands towards the center of my body. And I get to right about here. And I feel like that's good enough. And I'm going to start to lean forward, but I'm going to let go of my hands and reach back as I'm leaning forward, staying scooped. And then I'm going to sweep my arms around as I'm reaching over my legs with my trunk with a nice, as much of a flat back as I can to get a big stretch here. And then I'm going to gather my hands again at the center and start again. Scoop. So come with me here. Back. Exhale, let go, reach back, sweep around, over the top, gather your hands. So we're going to exhale here, and then inhale down the center. 
exhaling back. So I want you to focus on pressing your rear down into the mat here. Press. And hold those abdominals in nice and snug. One more. Back. Press the butt down. Good. Okay. Go ahead and open those legs. Spine stretch here. Reach up over the top. Down the center. Reach up. Exhale. So we're really focusing on spending some time on limbering up the hamstrings, the glutes, and the lower back. Take a couple exercises in a row. Good. All right, go ahead and bring your legs together. So remember that seated balance exercise. So we're gonna go ahead and bend our knees. We're gonna do another variation of that as well. So we're really focusing on strengthening our hips, okay? Um, so the leg extension with an arm extension. So what's gonna happen is I am going to keep my feet on the ground for the seated balance move. My hands are underneath my thighs, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and scoop. So I'm rounding my back and I'm going to extend my left leg out and let it go by reaching out with my arm here. See that? So I'm going to scoop and then I'm going to pull my knee in and my hand in. I'm going to press my pelvis forward for a flat back. Got it? All right, let's try to scoop, let it go, reach in sit up tall. Scoop, let it go, reach, in, let it go. And scoop, reach, and in. Let's go other leg. Scoop, let go, reach out, and in. One more. Good. All right. Knee hug. Just relax your back. Just let it go. Release it. And then we're going to practice that mermaid, that first mermaid exercise that we did at session one. So remember this. The legs come off to the side. You're going to find a comfortable position your legs to your side. We're going to sit up as tall as we can from this position. Remember this. Hand is on the shin. Hand is at the mat. Tall trunk. So we push our abdomen forward and we hold that position here. I'm going to let go of the mat and pull myself into a side bend with an arm sweep over the top. Maintaining tall posture. Let it go. Hand down on mat. Let go of the shin. And then side bend into the opposite direction. Continuous breathing. You should feel after a couple of side bends on each side, you should feel the hips start to open up, the sides start to open up, yes. A little more flexibility, not as tight. And then this will be the last one. And we're going to switch sides, switch the legs, find that comfortable position, sit up tall as you can, and pull. The first couple are always a little bit tight, right? So there's really no need to force anything, you're just increasing the flexibility with movement. Let's go knee hug again. So we always want to center ourselves before we turn over. For our back exercise. 
exercises. So we're going to turn over onto our tummy. We're going to learn a couple new exercises here. So this extra exercise is called slow swimming. We'll eventually get to an actual swimming, a traditional swimming exercise, but this is slow swim. So it's where we're starting. And that just simply means that I am going to lift my right arm with my left leg at the same time off the floor, but I'm gonna keep my left arm and my right leg down. So it looks like this. My head is off the mat. I'm looking down at my mat. I'm resting here on my forearms and my pelvis stays down. So I'm gonna lift my right arm with my left leg, pulling that thigh up off the mat and then lowering it, okay? My trunk stays still. I'm stationary here and I'm just lifting and holding at the top, breathing, pressing the pelvis down, tightening the glutes. So we're really trying to isolate that lower back and the glutes. All right, now we're gonna go into a new exercise. Come up onto your elbows. So this is called single leg kicking. And our focus here is on stretching out the front of the thigh. So the thigh, the front of the leg, and then also strengthening the hamstrings and the glutes. So we're gonna come up off the mat with our abdominal wall. So our trunk comes up, our back is flat. I'm pulling my abs up and in and I'm holding them there. And I'm simply gonna pull my heel towards my rear with the other leg on the floor. See that? So I'm pulling one leg in at a time, pointing the toes, holding the abs, and breathing. Tighten the glutes as you pull. So you're also holding your trunk up, right, on your elbows, so you're getting a nice shoulder burn here, holding that weight. Good. Okay, come on down. Bring your hands outside your chest. Push yourself up and back for a low back stretch. So remember when we assessed, we did this testing of our push-up leg pull-down, remember that exercise? We're going to do this from our knees, so it's a modified push-up leg pull-down, okay? So remember when you do your push-up, bring your hands out wide and in front of your shoulders. Your hips are down, your whole trunk comes down with you. Bend your elbows. Come up into high plank, knees up. You're gonna lift one leg up and transfer that weight back on that heel. Come back to high plank, switch legs. Transfer that weight back on that heel. Bring your knees down. Again, nice and strong in the trunk, strong in the chest. Push up, pull down. Pull down, knees down, push up, pull down, pull down, good. All right, kneeling tall, <clears throat> so remember last week we did those hip thrusts and then we added that lean back, we're just going to do the lean back today, so no hip thrusts here. Um, but we're gonna lean back with our arms out. So we're gonna change direction. We're gonna go arms out in front when we lean back and arms out to the sides when we lean back, okay? So when we lean back, there's a cute bird outside. When we lean back, we wanna make sure that our glutes are engaged, our abdominals are engaged. So it almost feels like my trunk is one like piece of wood, a board, right? 
and there's no flexion in the board. So I'm just leaning back, remember this? And now we're gonna add arms. So I'm gonna reach forward, come back, and then I'm gonna reach out to the side. So everything is nice and flat and strong, and we're breathing, of course. So you feel the strength in your quads, feel the strength in your glutes, and feel the strength in your trunk, right? These are your core muscles. One more on each arm sweep. Good. All right, so we're gonna come down to our side, but we're only gonna come down onto our elbow, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and practice what's called the side clams. And so we're really just working on our hip abductor muscles here. So hip quads, also our lower back because we're in this bent leg position here. So knees start closed, feet start closed, but we're gonna keep the feet closed and we're gonna open the knees, okay? So I want you to put your hand on your hip your abdominals are pulled in. I'm simply going to open, so I'm lifting my knee up, creating strength here, tightness, so we're really slowing it down. Abdominals are pulled in. Everything's activated here. It shouldn't be loose. It should be nice and strong and tight, like it's resisting, right? And breathing, of course. chest opener. Okay, so from here, I'm going to stay on my elbow, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and keep my legs bent, and from here, I'm going to go ahead and bring my hand behind my head, okay, keeping my hip down. I'm going to simply pitch forward with my trunk, so I'm rotating my trunk so that I can look down at my other arm, and then I'm going to open by lifting my trunk up, my arm up towards the ceiling. So these are called chest openers. All right, so closing slowly, keeping your back nice and strong and flat, and lifting, and of course breathing. It's such a tiny movement, but what's happening is you're really working those obliques to rotate and lift. So strength and flexibility. Good. All right, we're gonna go to the other side and we'll start with our clams. So hand on hip. All right, here we go. Open and close. Check yourself. One more. Good. All right, you guys come up to a seated position. Knee hug here, and then we're going to start again. Same exercises. Way down, go ahead and bring both knees with you. Remember, any chance we can get, we're really practicing this scooping. So round your back, come down slowly, bring the knees with you. So we're going to repeat everything again, okay? 
single leg. So one leg is moving in and out while the other leg is static. And let's go other way, let it go. Remember to check yourself, chin to chest, scooping and breathing. One more. Next is that double leg, but remember we're going to reach out with our arms, okay? So go ahead and bring your knees in, head and shoulders up, scooping, chin to chest, reach out and extend. Remember, it's up to you how low your legs go. You don't want to go parallel to the floor, that's fine. Breathing. One more. Arms at your sides, we have that bridge. Here we go, we're gonna lift and exhale. Stabilize. And down. And down. Up and exhale. Down and inhale. Up, exhale. down and inhale. Nice. All right, back crisscross. So knees are in, head and shoulders up, hands behind your neck. One leg is extending and then we're rotating. So one leg is working. Rotating across that rib cage, breathing. Keep that rear down on the mat with that leg extension. That helps keep you centered. We're going to switch legs. One more. And rest. Nice. Hopefully you're feeling good so far. I know we're going a little bit quicker through the second set, but We've already learned them, so I'm hoping that you're following along easily. Both legs are all the way up, that modified double straight, head and shoulders up, hands behind the neck. We're going to part the legs at the top, close the legs, and lower. Up to you how low you go. One more. Good. All right. Go ahead and bring those feet down and the head down and the arms down. Slight bend in the knees. We're going to do that roll up hold. We're going to lift the head, drop the chin, lift the shoulders, scoop, tighten the glutes, reach forward, hold at the top and exhale. Come on down with an inhale. Repeat. Good. Let's go one more. to your side. Push yourselves up. We have the roll down holds. And really focusing on the scooping, okay? Go ahead and collapse your spine and reach out and lean back. Exhale and hold. So I'm really hoping that you're feeling those muscles what's happening when you're scooping. So we're gonna try to make this a habit where anytime we're scooping, 
we can feel those muscles engaging, right? Tightening, pulling in. Some people call it hollowing out or a C spine. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go into a rowing exercise. Legs are straight, hands out front, collapse the spine. Lean back as you pull your hands towards your center. Move forward, part the hands, reach back. Big stretch over the top of the legs, sweep those arms around, start again. So you should feel the change in the position of the spine here. From a scooped position here to a flat back here. Okay? So strength to stretch. Good. Let's go right into spine stretch. Up tall, open your legs, big stretch forward and back. Exhale here. Inhale here. One more. Good. All right, bring your legs together. Bend your knees. Seated balance. Hands underneath the thighs. So we're with feet off the floor this time, okay? So I want you to go scooped position, reach out with the leg and the arm. So more of a focus on balance here because we're balancing on our tailbone now. We're going to go other side. I want you to stay scooped and focus on balancing with the movement. Breathing, it's a little more challenging, right? Let's go one more. And a little more challenge on the top of the hips there, yes? Just lean forward slightly before we go into mermaid. Go ahead and bring your legs around to the side. Find your position. Sit up tall. And we're going to go ahead and begin. Over the top. Let's see if we can go a little deeper into these side bends. You feel good. Challenge yourself. A little deeper here. You'll notice that a lot of our exercises are flexibility and strength. It's because we're asking our spine to move, right? And we're asking our trunk to move, our core muscles to work, but also be malleable or flexible. Go ahead and begin. So that is so good for you in developing your core strength and flexibility so that your arms and your legs will feel stronger as well. And movements using your back will now be leaving your trunk rather than just your back, right? Your abdomen, your back, your hips. And come back to center, knee hug. That's what this is all about. Just being aware of what's going on. Like what, what's going to best benefit you in your daily life with having all this knowledge and practice. All right, we're gonna turn over for slow swim. Remember opposite arm, opposite leg. 
lifting off of the mat while the other opposite arm and opposite leg stay grounded. All right, here we go. We're resting on our rib cage and our forearms, keeping our pelvis down, lifting right and left, and left and right. Breathing as best you can. onto our elbows for those single leg kicks. Hips up, back is flat, one leg at a time. Breathing nice and strong in your core. Abs, back, hips, glutes, down, hands outside your chest, push up and back, low back stretch. We're going to come forward and go right into push up leg, pull down. You need to stay down. Here we go. Down. Knees down. Strength here. Kneeing tall when you're done. Lean back with alternating arms. Here we go, nice and strong and tall. Arms forward. Arms out. One more each. for your leg work, trunk work on your elbow, bent legs, hand on hip, side clamps. And behind your head, Chest openers, here we go, down and up. and strong. Clamps. And behind your neck, chest openers. Drop and lift. Remember those seated accordions I taught you? Hands on your knees, flat back at the top, and then collapse, slightly lean back, round your back, push your abdomen forward, flat back, and repeat. So we're centering, we're stretching anything that's tight, 
front being on our side. Good. And then we're going to go one arm exercise here. So go ahead and put your legs out in front. And we're going to do a traditional arm circle. Okay, so our arms are up tall. We're sitting up tall, nice and strong in the posture. And we're going to circle creating strength, so almost resisting, like tightening the muscles and the shoulders all the way through the arms, breathing of course. Reverse. We're just going to lean forward slightly, let the back go, head down. Good. And that's it. So just remember to add a comment at the end of the session, and I will see you next time. Nice job.